A SWAT team went into my place at 6 a.m. armed with machine guns, armed with light guns, fully masked. Armed police raided the home of a Palestinian refugee in Germany following a crackdown by authorities on Palestinian organizations like the Prisoner Solidarity Network Samidun. Cameras from one of Germany's biggest media outlets, Der Spiegel, were there to capture the raid on Samidun activist Zaid Abdul Nasser. I was put to the ground, I was searched, I was stripped. They went through every single inch of my apartment, they went through my personal belongings, they went through even the legal papers that I have, like letter exchange with my lawyers. They stole my phone, they stole my PC, they stole uh, even a picture that I had hung on the wall. And at the same time, at 6 a.m., there was German press in front of my place taking pictures and videos. German police continue to hold on to Zaid's possessions, including his mobile phone and his computer. The raid comes in the context of Zaid and Sami Dun being targeted in a campaign by the German media, who have published slanderous articles calling him a Jew hater and radical Islamist. The fact that they were there at 6 a.m. being told in advance about the raids, that this whole raid stuff was just a disgusting photo shoot for the state to showcase that they are doing anything of value. The videos and pictures that they took of the raids uh, like were used to uh, fabricate a video that would portray Muslims in Germany as being these dangerous individuals who are here to destroy the country. And this is not the first time that this happens. Like My face was in The Bild, which is the biggest magazine in Europe. And the title of the article was Leader of Jew Hatred, because I organized for Palestine in Germany, because I am pro-Palestinian, because I am Palestinian. Zaid was also slandered by the Spiegel, who used him to open a documentary about the rise of radical Islam in Germany. A politically liberal outlet, Spiegel completely misrepresented the following speech by Zaid, given shortly after the 7th of October attack. Here's their German translation, which has been dubbed over Zaid's original words. Ich bin Mitglied von Samidun. Sie vergessen, dass wir die Nachfahren von Al Qassam sind. Die Al Qassam Brigaden gehören zu Hamas. And now Zaid's original speech in its full context, which is about Palestinian resistance figures from history. Zed clearly references Ezzedine al-Kazam, the anti-Zionist resistance leader who opposed British colonialism and Jewish settlers in Palestine in the 1930s, and not the al-Kazam brigades, the military wing of Hamas. Clearly, it wouldn't make sense to be the descendants of a current military organization. The Spiegel did not respond to our request for a comment. So this is the state of things in Germany. So this comes in the context of, uh, of not only banning Samidun or banning Hamas in Germany, it comes in the same context as banning demonstrations that are supporting the Palestinian people during this ongoing genocide that is taking place in Gaza. This comes in the same context as threatening refugees with their papers, uh, threatening to revoke their residencies, like in my case, and threatening uh, them with deportation. The state of hysteria that we see in Germany right now is unprecedented.